dude that likes to stream shit, so I just waited until the last dance finished up, and then I watched all of it over the span of two days. And let me say, I know Angel has not finished it. I know he said he's on episode six, but I gotta say, man, I have a lot of I have a lot of thoughts on the last dance that I, some of them I'm gonna say this week, some of them I'm gonna say for next week whenever Angel finishes it. But goddamn, episode ten is probably I actually thought seven and eight were a bit of a drag. Um, honestly, I thought that episode nine and 10 specifically, I'm not going to spoil some of the stuff in nine. Cause there's some stuff that I didn't know that I'm angel. Pretty sure you don't know. Cause episode nine is kind of a Steve, uh, son of a Steve, kind of a Steve Kerr episode. And, uh, they said stuff about him that I didn't even know, which, you know, I thought was really, really interesting and how he kind of related to Michael. So, um, episode, it's kind of weird to say spoiling about a documentary and it's real life shit, but still, you know, the point I'm making here. Episode yeah, like 10, a joke, no, joke I huh? made. I'm like, it was kind of like the joke I made, Josh, where it's like, well, Josh, it's not like I don't know how the last dance is going to end, you know? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you're right. But, like, there was there was stuff, like, I'm, I'm pretty sure you don't know. I mean, do you know much about Steve Kerr, <laughs> like, outside of basketball? Not, like, a crazy amount, no, no. Yeah, yeah. well, I, I mean, I didn't either. So he kind of talks about, like, how he kind of related to Michael, how he kind of got along with Michael, and one of the ways that they did. And it was something I didn't even know because – I. Steve Kerr, like, I don't want to get into it, but kind of his dad had some crazy shit happen, so. Um, episode 10, though, is just phenomenal. Like, they, they, uh, I want to give a quick shout out to my man, Zach Hemsey. He's a fantastic composer, does great music, and I've listened to this guy's music for a long time, not even related to this. And so then when we had one of his songs pop up in uh, The Last Dance, episode 10, near the final, uh, like, the game six of the final, you know, series or whatever, The Last Dance, absolutely phenomenal and just the final kind of scenes of them winning that title and with the music it was just the presentation it was phenomenal episode 10 probably the greatest one of that whole series but i got i gotta ask you do you feel like as i see i saw scotty pippen actually complained about how he was portrayed and i couldn't i'm not sure if i agreed with him but i'm seeing a lot of people are upset with how they're portrayed and how it's just kind of a jordan fluff piece and i said that since the beginning but do you think it's that substantiated? Because I, I see a lot of people getting, like, at first, whenever the last game premiered, people were saying, like, this is the greatest sports doc of all time. And some people are still saying that. But I feel like it's kind of going back on it as the show kind of went on. I don't know. I don't feel like it is. I haven't gotten that vibe at all. I feel like I've gotten to know everyone pretty well. I, I like I learned a lot about Scotty that I didn't know, and I I don't feel like it made I don't at any point in time that I feel like Scotty looked bad. I mean, obviously, like the only thing that made him look bad was the whole like contract thing that was happening at that time, and even then it wasn't like I wasn't like oh Scotty when when I asked I was just like you know I I understood where he was coming from you know, so I, I was you know I didn't think his his behavior was completely alcohol for it. Yeah, sure, did they make him seem like he was an asshole at times? Yeah. But I think everybody was kind of being an asshole at that time to, uh, oh, man, you know, the general manager at the time. I don't know why I blanked on his name. Uh, Jerry Krause. Yeah, Jerry Krause, yeah. So it's not like, you know, and, and, and at least I never felt like it was only Scotty. Like, I felt like everybody kind of had their go at him. And, and and it's not like Jordan wasn't dick, a dick himself. I mean, he in there made fun <laughs> of people, too. You know what I mean? And he admitted yeah. to it. He, he said he was a nice guy. So I don't think anybody's made that to look, like, necessarily bad. Yeah, um, I, the only person that I thought, I didn't really agree with the claim that Scotty, he thought, like, they were trying to make him look bad, because I didn't think they made him look bad at all. There was obviously, there's an episode where they pretty much said that he quit on his team, which I think is probably the main problem, that he he did quit on his team. Like, that's pretty much how he, he there's one game where he does, and, like, he literally just goes to the bench. That's the definition of quitting on your team, but uh, I thought he was presented pretty well um i didn't necessarily have a problem with how a lot of people were traded. the only one i had a particular issue with was probably jerry Krause. and my only issue with how they presented jerry Krause is because i felt like a lot of the documentary just over the course of 10 10 episodes it wasn't until the final one where anybody says anything positive about jerry Krause. it just felt like they were just shitting on him the entire time and i didn't I didn't feel good about shitting on a dead guy who can't defend himself. Like, it just felt, it made me feel kind of dirty, especially considering, like, the owner of the team got absolved of all blame whenever, if he wanted to keep that team together, 
after the 98 season. He totally could have. And I read a long interview on r slash NBA, uh, which is you know funny, but whatever. I, I read it on r slash NBA where they took quotes, and he talked about why that team broke up, up Jerry Krause did. And he makes a damn good explanation about how, like, listen, uh, Phil Jackson didn't want to he didn't want to come back and coach a rebuilding team, and that team was going to have to be rebuilding because we couldn't afford all the people that Scotty wanted to be contract, and Dennis Rodman was half in, half out. Dennis Rodman only played another 35 games in the NBA, and he made a lot of really, really good points about, like, why that team broke up. But instead, they spend the majority of 10 episodes shitting on Jerry Krause whenever it was he fell on to more people, you know, blame. The only time anybody said anything positive about him was was that Scottie Pippen said in the the 10th episode that he was the greatest GM of all time. And that was the only time anybody said anything positive about the guy. So I don't know that that was the only real part that made me feel bad. But another part that made me feel bad is also I feel so bad for those those Utah Jazz teams, man, because like I don't feel bad for Carl Malone. But I feel so bad for John Stockton because they they show like those they show like how those teams just went to war with the Bulls and. It's insane to me just how careers would be changed if, like, they even won one. Like, I said it before we started recording, but wouldn't Carl Malone absolutely be considered one of the greatest players of all time if he at least won one? Oh, yeah. Definitely. Like, and I thought about this, like, even if he was a part of, like, you know, he signed with the Lakers in, like, what was it, 04? 03? Oh, yeah, very late. Very late into his life. Yeah, if he if he even got a ring with them, he'd be considered one of the greatest of all time. I mean, it'd basically be like I don't know, like I, I can't even make another, I can't equate it to another thing, like another sport or another guy because I can't think of somebody who joined a team super late just to win a ring. But you know the point that I'm making here. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, man. The last dance though, I gotta. If I were to rate it out of like ten. I'd still probably give it a nine, man, because I was it was as much as I had an issue with the way Jerry Krause was portrayed, and yes, indeed, it was totally a Jordan fluff piece. Whenever, and it's not even 